Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today will be a very short video. Uh, this video is response to my previous video that I posted about 10 kilowatt Goodwill inverter that you cannot get battery if you install this one. I'll post link above, uh, it will be a pop-up card if you didn't see that video. And I suggest for everyone who consider battery for future setup to watch that video. This video will be explanation why you cannot hook up battery to that inverter. And result of this video is all your comments, people that reached out and thank me for that. But um, I'm guilty of not researching it to, you know, to um, um, a certain extent and I could not provide answer to people why you cannot install that battery. So this video quickly will explain why you can't do this and my understanding it's not in every state of Australia. It's different to Queensland and another state, I don't remember which one, I think it's Western Australia, I don't want to speculate, but if you're in Queensland, that's definitely no-go for now. So um, quickly I'll remind how inverters and batteries work uh, because this, this understanding is crucial to, to, uh, to understand why you cannot install battery with that inverter. So um, the panels on the roof, they generate DC power. They will get to your inverter and the reason why you need inverter, they invert in DC power to AC power. So your inverter has two functions. It has many functions, but two main functions is to uh, invert or transfer from DC to AC and isolate from a grid and then reconcile it together. So, if you install battery and, and you don't have a hybrid inverter, if you got normal inverter, your battery would, would be DC because batteries are DC and battery will have inverter in it. Yes, it's a lot of power loss. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous videos about Tesla, uh, it's on my channel as well. Uh, and my previous household had the Tesla battery, which was phenomenal. But the round trip loss on the Tesla is around 10%. Why? Because you've got inefficiency of converting DC to AC. So your panels are DC, inverters AC, batteries have to be DC and the battery would have inverter that converts to AC and everything goes to uh, grid, uh, kind of reconcile it all together. So you got, if you got a, a normal setup where you've got normal inverter and the battery, it will be double conversion, right? Now you also have a situation where you have a hybrid inverter, where it's basically you can connect DC battery to that inverter and everything is great, but I don't know if you can get 10 kilowatt inverter in that uh, setup. My understanding, uh, there's not many of them there, and most of them would be 6.6 .6 kilowatt. Um, and I want to maximize my uh, solar generation. So, short answer for my Queensland viewers is that in Queensland, you cannot install more than 10 kilowatt inverter on a single phase power and because your battery would be connected to inverter and has another inverter it would be classed that you have two inverters which one 10 kilowatt one inverter and uh, most of the batteries will have five kilowatt inverter in them so that brings you to 15 kilowatt inverter installed in the household which is illegal in queensland so there is solution, not comprehensive. If you still would like to install battery in Queensland and you already have 10 kilowatt inverter, you still can do that. But that battery wouldn't work as a backup battery. That battery would work as um, only when you connect it to the grid. So if you're losing grid power, your battery wouldn't kick in. But what it would do, uh, let's say sun goes down, night time, and you've got enough battery capacity, you still can draw battery to supply to your household at night time, uh, considering that grid is up. And when daytime comes, battery, uh, um, solar kicks in, you will recharge your battery. So you can put um, 
DC coupled battery um, to the uh, uh, current 10 kilo converter. Again, I'm, I'm a little bit speculating because I'm not an electrician. It's what I've been told by installers. So you can put a battery, which is non backup battery to 10 kilo converter. But in Queensland, if you would like to have an inverter and a battery, you either need to go hybrid, it will be a DC DC and it will be less uh, loss. Or if you already got 6.6 uh, .6 kilowatt uh, normal non hybrid inverter, you can still, so not 6.6, .6, kilowatt inverter, you can still buy a battery because it bumps you to 10 kilowatt altogether. So, I hope this video is clarifying a couple of things and I hope it's helpful. Uh, if you would like to continue this conversation, please comment down below. And again, feel free to share, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for all your support and people that comment on my channel. I really appreciate it. I love this community. Uh, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.